Hi, it is Coach Noreen, and I want to talk about how to get yourself in the present moment, an overview of mindfulness, and the practice of grounding, especially focusing on those who have been through trauma or have PTSD. So our thoughts can be quite deceiving and we get stuck in a state of worry. And it's so fascinating to see that if you find yourself feeling depressed, chances are you're ruminating over something that happened in the past. While feeling anxious, it's the anticipation of what's to come. It's what is in the future. And you'll probably feel, feel that anxiety in that type of headspace. So it's so important that when you're triggered or when you're overwhelmed, how do you halt the brakes? How do you stop that and get into the here and now? Because let's face it, when you've had trauma and you're getting into that triggered space, you can lose a lot of time, but we can pull ourselves out. We use an intentional practice called grounding. Now I want to just take this brief presentation and compare it to mindfulness. We hear so much about meditating, being mindful to be in the moment. However, this is a very difficult practice and actually can be a detrimental practice if you are a trauma survivor and you're, and you're on your healing journey. I think one major indicator to remember is when you're being mindful and practicing mindfulness, it is about closing your eyes, tuning in to you, your thoughts, your feelings, what your body's doing versus grounding that this is a practice where you keep your eyes open and you're moving away from thoughts. You're moving away from what's happening inside of you and you are focusing on what is around you to get your, get you back and get you centered. Being mindful, is allowing thoughts to come into your head and then you push them away. However, when you're ruminating, when there's been trauma, actually those are those thoughts that have triggered you and put you in that spot. And what we wanna do is not entertain those thoughts, but we need to pull away from them and focus on our place and space of the moment. Being mindful, again, because those thoughts being entertained, you can actually be re-triggering or quite honestly, you're going down that rabbit hole further and deeper. Grounding on the other hand, you're separating yourself from those thoughts and because you're focused on being safe where you are, those thoughts that are burdening you actually get removed and you're going to de-escalate. Obviously, you can then see that being mindful means that fight, flight, freeze, or fawn can actually kick into overdrive and really, really put you in an ugly spot and keep you in this disengaged state even longer. Being grounded, what you're doing is you're taking a switch and you're turning those mechanisms off because you're anchored in the here and now where you are, whether it be on the train, in your car, in your office, sitting in your living room, sitting in the driveway before you walk into the house, getting yourself grounded. Grounding does something different to the brain that helps us rewire ourselves 
when those moments happen where we're feeling like we're going down the rabbit hole or circling it at least. So what you are doing is focusing on a feature or an element of where you physically are. And by focusing on something, whether it be a shape, a word and spelling it backwards, focused on all the colors you can identify, the shapes you can identify, what you're doing is you are tapping into that part of the brain that's known for decision making. This is your reward system in the frontal lobe. You're also working on your attention span. Your task takes place in this area. Right? We need to activate that frontal lobe because quite honestly, being triggered, the limbic system is what has been turned on and quite it, it could be ramped up as well and we got to turn that off and the limbic system is more of where that emotion powerhouse resides where the anxiety really ramps up we got to turn that off so grounding and being in the moment and looking around you gets that frontal lobe activated and you can stabilize your nervous system and lead to what I say, hey, hello, and welcome back. I hope you got something out of what is mindfulness and what is grounding, especially for those who have PTSD or who have experienced trauma. Now that you've had the overview, we'll take a look at some behaviors uh, that you can do or some strategies, some games. Maybe that's how we'll look at it. Some games that you can play to get you grounded. And if you want to practice or if you have any questions about the material, shoot me an email at IamCoachNoreen at gmail.com. Thank you. Have a good day.